you have two major components in you one super consciousness another one body matter means chit and jata matter and consciousness every particle of the matter which is manifested by the super consciousness and still in alignment with the super consciousness that parts are called divya sarira in you every cell still continues to be in tune with parama shiva every muscle every part of your biology internal organ or body jnanendriya or karmendriya still in tune with parama shiva comfortably with powerful cognitions comfortably without any struggle as a natural flow of life is divya sarira every cell which is ready to reverberate and radiate the powerful cognitions of parama shiva is part of your divya sarira please understand whichever part of you comfortably manifests the powerful cognitions is your divya sarira more and more powerful cognition manifestation means more and more you are becoming divya sarira if your hands can manifest the highest powerful cognition you are parama shiva your hands have become part of the divya sarira your eyes can manifest the truth you are parama shiva your eyes have become part of divya sarira every cell in your body if it can comfortably manifest powerful cognitions it has become part of divya sarira pain does not exist is one of the powerful cognition because you are soul you are consciousness you are parama shiva if your hand is fractured and it does not have pain means it is manifesting as a natural flow the powerful cognition you are parama shiva understand you cannot act when there is a compound fracture <laughs> you can act as long as everything is well <laughs> not when there is a compound fracture <laughs> you can't be crying until i am okay mm. <laughs> stand it's a natural flow if powerful cognitions naturally flow in your system you are divya sarira you become divya sarira 